So the customer brought these earpods in complaining that the left earpod has a problem. They can't hear anything from it. Well, the right one is still okay. So let's take a look what's happening there. They both look pretty similar to the naked eye, don't they? But let's put them under the microscope. Haha! <laughs> Looks bad, doesn't it? But I'll tell you something. That's the right one. The good one. See those little holes? You can still see inside the ear pod and the sound still can go through. Isn't it shocking how bad it can get and you would still think that they are fine? Okay, let's see the left one, the one with the problem. It looks pretty similar, but there's only one tiny hole left on this one for the sound to escape. Well, the right one still has 10 or 15 of them and that makes a huge difference. Of course, I'm gonna clean them both, but let's enjoy this view for a few more seconds before I show you how it's done. Okay, so today I'm using just a basic window cleaner, nothing too fancy. Take a little soft brush, dip it in and apply the liquid to the speaker mesh. Don't be shy, put some more. Great. Leave it there, let it soak and go get the vacuum cleaner. Put the crevice tool on and vacuum all the liquid out of the earpod. Okay, well, the first round didn't make a huge difference, but we do have five open holes now instead of just one. But of course we'll need a few more rounds, so dip the brush again and apply more liquid to the speaker mesh. Okay, so this time instead of just leaving it to soak, I use my brush to try and break the stuff up before hoovering it out again. Hey, look at that! Now we can see some progress. See how much cleaner it is after only two rounds. It's not so obvious to the naked eye though. Here's the one that hasn't been cleaned yet for the reference, but uh, they look pretty much the same. Let's try to zoom in. Yeah, you can see this white plastic part in the center behind the clean mesh and of course there is some stuff left above and below it. But if you would try to play some music now on it, uh, you would be happy to stop here. It would be super loud to compare with one that hasn't been cleaned yet. But of course we want it to be as clean as possible, so dip the brush again Put some more liquid on the speaker mesh and brush, 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 brush. Try to loosen that stuff up. And the Hoover it out again. Well, not a huge improvement after the third round. So we'll repeat that a few more times. So dip the brush again and brush, 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 brush. But like I said, at this stage, if you're doing this at home, it's probably loud enough and you don't need to go that far. It's more like a cosmetical thing now. 
I want to clean it. I want it to be perfect. Just to get that satisfaction, you know. I'm losing my patience now. I'm taking my short brush. I hope it will shake and loosen the things up inside. It's the same type of brush, I just trimmed it with scissors. Slightly better, maybe, but uh, we'll need a few more rounds here. Well, it gets kind of boring here, but I didn't want to speed the video up, so you would have the reference of how long it actually takes to get from one stage to another, from from fully clogged to perfectly clean or almost perfectly clean. So. Well, I think I'm getting there. Maybe two more rounds. Oh, and I'm sure many of you have a question uh, whether it's not gonna completely kill your earpods because uh, everybody knows water and electronics do not mix and earpods are electronics and uh, window cleaner is mostly water. So how can we use water to clean electronics? Well, as long as you apply the liquid only to this main speaker grill, you're safe because all the electronics, all the circuitry of the AirPod are separated from this main chamber by the speaker itself. So when some of the liquid gets inside the earpod, it only goes as far as the membrane of the speaker. And apart from the speaker, there's only one component in the front chamber, which is the infrared proximity sensor for the in-ear detection. But uh, that sensor is also very well sealed by layer of resin over it. So I don't see any risk of damaging it. So it's uh, pretty safe, but uh, I'll make a separate video to show you how it looks inside, uh, how far the liquid goes when you clean your earpod and uh, how well the vacuum cleaner is capable of removing all that liquid from the inside. So yeah, I'll make a separate video on that. Make sure you follow the channel so you wouldn't miss it. Well, I think it's as clean as I can make it. Well, there is still some stuff left there, but uh, look, the sound is back to spec. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's compare it with the one that is yet to be cleaned. Can you see the difference? clean one is on the left here. Zoom in. Well, I'm happy to have a microscope. Okay, let's clean the second earpod. Remember, the customer had no complaints about the sound of this one. Of course, they would see the difference now after the left one was fully cleaned and is much, much louder now. So, uh, same procedure here, dip the brush, uh, apply the liquid to the speaker mesh and uh, leave it soak for a while. It looks like one of those snow globe toys, doesn't it? I'm 
just playing with the light here, you don't need that to clean your ear pods. I wanted to give it some extra time for the cleaner to soak in and I thought I will get a better shot with some extra light but it doesn't look like it. Hey, here's the new tool in the shed, a toothpick. I'm using it to break down the stuff that's on the outside of the mesh. Normally there would be much more of it there, but uh, apparently the customer already tried to clean these AirPods and they removed most of it. Okay, here's how it looks after the first round. It seems like that extra soak time when I played with the light helped here. Here's how it looks through the camera without the microscope. I'm zoomed in. That looks cleaner, I think. Okay, let's give it a few more rounds. Same procedure, apply the liquid, use the brush, break down the stuff inside the mesh and uh, hoover it out. Not much progress after the second round, so I'll grab the short brush now. Now it's much better. Okay, one last round. Where it's out. There you go, looks great. Slightly cleaner than the first one, and of course, much cleaner than it was before. And I'm finishing it off with an alcohol wipe here, just cleaning up the body of the earpod and uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. The next time I will take an earpod apart, I will show you how it looks inside, how it's built and what happens there when we clean them. So please subscribe to our channel and stay in touch. Are you satisfied? Look how clean and beautiful it is.